What's up, Rockers? Hey, I'm Kaz. And I'm Shay, and welcome to a special holiday edition of For the Record with Kaz and Shay. Kaz, have you looked outside? It's snowing. It is insane. It is snowing. It's a white Christmas out there. Uh, my house was beautiful when I left it. Your killer Oli Kaz van looked amazing with snow on it. Because half the stuff's covered up. You can't yeah. see it. I think uh, once this show really takes off, we should rewrap it. We'll make it a for the record with, you know, van. Okay. Are you up for that? Sure. Okay. Sure. And so are you willing to foot the whole bill? I know that's pretty expensive. No. No. no okay. Sponsorship. <laughs> we'll have somebody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, as we, this is holidays. And what do you do around the holidays? You give gifts to the ones that you love. And what I love about you, Kaz, you are very giving. And you've given me some great gifts over the years. We always exchange something at Christmas, on our birthdays. And uh, it's nice. And I don't have another male friend or female friend that I do this with that's not a family member. So you've really uh, opened up my world to giving to another man. I give you a lot. We've got you a give good each man. Other a lot. Yeah, We've got a good man companionship. That's awesome. So <laughs> our table is filled. It's festive. We're wearing these festive uh, holiday sweaters. I've got my Queens of the Stone Age sweater. I don't know. We'll have to take a shot by this Christmas tree so you sure. can see it all. And you've got your dwarves. The dwarves. The best part is on the back. Do you want to show that now or do you want to show that in a picture? Uh, we'll show it in the picture so we don't offend anyone right from the get-go. Yeah, so, oh. but it's fun. Uh, yeah. Bands, Christmas sweaters, they're all doing it now. Uh, yeah. But we've got some things that uh, might be great gifts for the rock and roll enthusiasts in your life, you know? Yeah, as you can see, Kelsey, like, got us dialed in with all the she garland, like, made us. She's great at editing, good. set, design. Kelsey, you really can do it all. You know, we're going to lose you one day to one of the big guys. I know. So what we're here today is to show you guys some of the neat little gifts that you can get within the rock and roll realm for that loved one in your life. I want you to start with that bottle of booze because I haven't oh. seen that yet. Tell me all about that. So, I love, did you know that I love booze? I do. Yeah. We do. We do. Well, yeah. Balconis came out with ZZ Top Trace Ombres 100 Proof whiskey from Texas. Mm, I can taste so, it. So I know I haven't tasted it, uh-huh. but again, you know, you get a get together, put this on the table. It's like, wow, it's easy top. You're not only classy, but people know that you like to rock. And you drink this easy top. You drink this so easy top. So you do. Yeah. I mean, like we got Uno Dos Ombres and Trace with Trace. Kelsey. Yeah. So. That's what you got. ZZ Top. This is a new bottle. It just came out. Not well, too yours long ago. is sealed. I would say let's open it up now and drink it. But the bottle of whiskey, or it's not even whiskey. The bottle that I brought yeah. is Rancho de la Luna Mezcal, and this is created by some fantastic guys. Dave Catching, great musician, Eagles of Death Metal, uh, great solo record. Mojave Lords and Bingo Ritchie make this mezcal and it's fantastic. I typically don't drink a lot of mezcal, but you know who drinks a lot of mezcal? And who I've heard her say that she's a mezcal snob? snob? Kelsey. Kelsey. And she loves this mezcal. Uh, great price, price point. It's like $50 a bottle. Um, God, I'm a little thirsty. <laughs> I don't know. This is on. Uh, this is unscripted, but I want to have a little pull off this. Sure. Jeez. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. We got to finish this episode. Oh God. Good? Goes down smooth. Uh huh. Goes down smooth. That was kind of your nickname in high school. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ouch. I, chest pain. I think that's my pride that hurts right now. That's all right. So uh, we've we're off to a good start. We're talking about booze. What else do you want to talk about over there, Kaz? What you got? Slip mats. Slip you know mats. Every record player needs a classy slip mat. Right. Everybody's getting their record player. And here's a neat little gift on the list you can put for somebody. For 15 bucks. you can have your own custom slip mat. That's this awesome. This is the only Cavs one with the uh, Olympia Brewery horseshoes and the biohazard formation here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really cool. You go to uh, myslipmats.com. Uh-huh. You can do it for 15 bucks. Get a custom slip mat, you know. Uh-huh. Enter whatever picture you want on there. That's awesome. Let, oh, it. my God. You almost hit Kelsey. Um, yeah. that. Do you think that would have caused Kelsey like a concussion or some sort no, of head trauma? Slip mat. She's tough. Yeah, slip mats are cool. We should do some for the show when we really take off. And, uh, you know, we got lots of merch ideas. You know, lots of merch ideas. We should just yeah. tell a little bit that's, of everything. That's just where that was our second one. Yeah, and so uh, one of the great gifts that you've given me on multiple um, 
occasions is books about concert posters, which I've already established that I love. My house is covered with concert posters, and you've got a million. Um, so you gave me this one book, this coffee table book, The Art of Modern Rock. This thing is just chock full of concert posters from all the great designers. Two of the poster guys we like are Justin Hampton and Emek. They're both Portland guys. I, I think we should have Justin or, or both on the show. Justin talk wants to. Does he? Okay. Yeah, we're going to get Justin Hampton. He's a sweetheart of a guy, hell of an artist. Amazing. Hell of an artist. He's coming out with, I think, his first book, actually, his own. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And then you gave me this other uh, gig posters book. And if you don't have concert uh, posters, you can... Rip that out and hang that on your wall. I think it's 11 by 17. So it says there's 101 ready posters that you can just buy this book and you've got all the posters you need. I prefer to get them from the shows, but this is a way to start your collection really quickly. And these are great. I have these, uh, you know, in my house and I, you know, on these cold, dark nights where I just want to bundle up with a book, I flip through these and, and just you can just get lost for hours in all the cool concert posters. All How right. you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay. What are you going to go with next? What's the next gift? Oh, man, you know what? And if you want to get next to that little fire with your cozy little book, light a candle to it. Well, or you could keep it in the bathroom, you know, when you've got guests over and you've... you've, you've when you beat them yeah. to the bathroom. Yeah. You keep this burning to hide all the evidence. Yeah. Okay. CelebrityPrayerCandles.com has over like 600 fun little gifts for 15 bucks. Like this is a Lemmy Kilmister... I've got Freddie Mercury, I've got Joe Strummer, but kind of a neat little gift. You can get somebody, you know, kind of in the rock and roll thing. They've got like Charles Bukowski, they've they've got it all. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I need some candles for myself, you know. I should start collecting a few of those, and I hope uh, they have a Josh Homme or a Fat Mike one. Those would be great in my house. Um, yeah, let's go with the fridge magnets. I love... Uh, fridge magnets, but I I don't have that many of them. You know, I got a bunch of pictures of my kids, and you know, I want something uh, better than that. So No Effects has a really cool set of fridge magnets, which all four members of the band in their underwear, and then you get like thirty six different pieces of clothing that you can dress them how they are. And hopefully, there's some S and M stuff for Fat Mike. You know, he likes to do some some kinky shit. And, that would look good on your refrigerator. Right, right. Do you have anything on your refrigerator right now? I can't see it right I there. I do. I have like a Sub Pop record. Oh, magnet. shit. This one. Yeah, we just put it out there. Yeah. Uh, BBQ MF, the best barbecue sauces. Uh -huh. I think I have a High Voltage Records one up there. Nice. Yeah. So speaking of High Voltage Records. Um, yeah, yeah. Rock and roll. Uh -huh. But High Voltage Records in Tacoma is one of our favorite places to go. Uh, they just... Had their first anniversary of their bookstore. They expanded, uh, almost doubled the size. It's huge. Um, it's awesome. It's beautiful. And they have so many gifts for anybody wanting to start a record collection or a friend or what that has it. Um, they sell speakers. They sell turntables. They sell all the supplies you need to get that going. Um, their record collections huge uh their bookstore is phenomenal great selections i just walked away with uh nothing but a good time and the eruption the conversations with uh eddie van halen which mm -hmm. is a, both really cool books so far Jeez, um, i wonder if they recorded that i wonder if you can get that on audio and hear or audio book and, and actually uh, hear you, eddie you so that would be cool yeah um but they have everything coffee mugs their staff is knowledgeable. They're fantastic. The nicest people. Um, merchandise, shirts. Like I say, if you want to uh, kind of get a lot of your shopping done at once, go up to High Voltage. They're great staff. Brian Kenny, the owner, is one of the nicest guys you could ever meet. Mm -hmm. um, but that, like I say, they have a bunch of really cool stuff that, um, you know, they're all helpful. But I would definitely uh, be going there. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that store. Um we were there just on record store day. Yeah. Fun. Great, great. selections up there. We kind of walked away yeah. with a lot. We were loaded up and great, like you said, great friendly staff. And and uh, if you do go, make sure you go to the Red Hot, which is right around the corner. Uh, make a day of it. Buy some records. Get a dog. Maybe get a beer. Yeah. We, we had soda pops this time, which is rare. I know. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's okay. We can have a soda every once get in a while. Yeah. yeah. So, um, 
I've established that I've loved charcuterie on this show, I think. I mentioned on the first episode, I'm like, what is this, a charcuterie board? Very funny moment. The funniest moment of all the show, I think. People can't, I mean, people stop me on the street. You're the charcuterie board guy. Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah, totally. Yeah. So I don't have really great charcuterie boards. Uh, the special lady in my life has some big, awesome ones, but I want some big, awesome ones for myself. So I saw this charcuterie board that's like a record player. It's really cool. The tone arm is an actual slicer, cheese slicer. That's really cool. And then when we're talking about this, and I'm like, yeah, and I want to get one that's like the body of a guitar. And you're like, hello, I got one. So look at what Kaz has. This is awesome. Hmm? I didn't even know I could show this. Turn it upside down. Hello. (laughs) (laughs) So charcuterie boards. Here, there you go, Kelsey. I don't know where she's taking them. What are you going to do with that charcuterie board? She's going to fill it for us so we can yeah. eat. Is it snack time? I'm getting a little hungry here. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Music-themed charcuterie boards. That would make yeah. me happy. All right. What's next for you, buddy? Well, I, uh, you know what? This is a great little buy for people that like music. Probably got the kids that are begging the parents for the Bose speakers, but a little out of the price range at 400 bucks. These JBL 66, 660 series. I'm listening. Are amazing. Um, they range between 100 bucks and 149. They're Bluetooth. What I like about them: 40 hours of playback on one. That's track. a long time. Get it you is. get you through most flights. Hope right. you're not on a 40 hour flight. I'm the type of guy that hates having to plug a hundred things in a night, mm-hmm. and you don't have to worry about charging these often. And a 10 minute charge gives you four more hours of play. Got the noise cancellation, you know, you can get your phone calls from them. It has a playback with that. But for a bargain price, you're not going to tell the difference between, you know, I mean, I'm the ear snob as well, but mm-hmm. a good buyer, these JBL 660 series headphones, great buy if you have anyone looking for something like that. They're great wireless, Bluetooth, everything. I'd highly recommend these. So Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I need to step up my game. Yes. Um, Brian, uh, what was your life like during the pandemic, the quarantine? We saw, we still saw each other, but... Uh, yeah, I listened to a lot of records, bought a lot of books. Bought a lot of started books. Started got reacquainted with reading again. Awesome. What'd you pick up? I started doing puzzles. Oh, uh, was it quizzical? Was it quizzical? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Uh-huh. Totally. How'd you uh, come out? Uh, on the bottom. Okay. Always. That's, yeah, I'm on the bottom. Um, but I just... You look good, though. Thanks, you man. Look, I appreciate it, man. Right. I'm coming back. All right. Um, so I just got into this habit of throwing a puzzle on my dining room table and uh, uh, having a couple of drinks and listening to a record and putting the puzzle together. And I had some classic puzzles, but I want a rock and roll puzzle. So um, Bad Religion has a cool puzzle, a thousand-piece puzzle, on their website, uh, it's the cover of No Control. Um, and so that would be a great puzzle to do for me or for you. Puzzles are fun, uh, great to do on a really cold, quiet night with the ones you love. I with think a candle. Light a candle. Drink some of this stuff here. It all comes together. What else could you do while you put a puzzle together? I mean, you can do a lot. Uh, maybe, and then a little charcuterie on the table. Yeah. You, this all ties in together. It's, uh, it is. You see, we're giving you guys ideas. You know, not that just all revolves around your record collection. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. What you got next there? Well, I'm a geek for collecting shit. Yeah. Rock, rock and roll rock. figurines, you know. Mm-hmm. And I got this is the oh, the Johnny Ramone from Knuckle Bones. Looks Knuckle heavy. Bones, Looks sturdy. It is. It's very heavy. It's very detailed. Uh-huh. Knucklebones.com has rock and roll figures they make a ton they're not cheap they're like 150 each but they're really cool uh they're coming out with a fill in that one Ooh. that'll kind of tie the whole collection together there but you go. that's kind of a fun gift but you know they have like a ton of like queen acdc metallica mm-hmm. pink floyd Scorpion, those look like Black they might Sabbath. run a, a a few dollars it's fun just to even get on the site and look at all the work that they do uh-huh. um so, uh, Kaz, did you do a lot of Legos as a kid? Ah, uh, yes, I did. I did Legos, Lincoln Logs, Rector sets. Then I really got into, you know, when you get those, like, orange rails with the Hot Wheel cars. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And then, 
Evil Knievel. Oh, that, yeah, that, yeah. It's back. So I loved Legos as a kid. They didn't have cool sets. I mean, I think they just gave you a whole bunch of Legos and like, here, you got to figure it out. Right, different colors, just mismatch. I yeah. mean, and so uh, my kids do a ton of Legos, and I always want to help them. I don't always get to, but uh, sort of an adult Lego, uh, something for a rock and roll enthusiast such as ourself. There is uh, a Lego set of the classic Rolling Stones logo, the big old tongue sticking out. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like a, I think it's like a thousand. The Mick Jagger lips. Yeah, like a wow. thousand piece Lego set. It's really cool, and then it, then it becomes a wall hanger. So oh. I think that would really be good. It would be fun for you, be fun for me, fun for anybody. We yeah. get to be kids again doing Legos, and the kids can't help us with those. So now with Legos, so I, I don't have kids that I know of. Uh huh. Um, so I haven't had to buy Legos or anything like that. Do they come with like directions? Like yeah, I mean, it's it, like are they all labeled like how you get an IKEA box and it's got all the special? Tools yeah, and I mean, bags and some and of those uh, you uh, those instruction books first. are several hundred pages long. Uh, I, I might be exaggerating, but you get a, you know a thousand piece Lego set. There's a lot of things that you got to snap together. Oh. Yeah, and it's uh, you know you got to follow those things to the letter, or Damn you'll get bad. to the end. And why does it this fit? That. Yeah, yeah. But oh, you start cussing like a truck driver. We do that anyways. We don't even. Yeah. We don't even need Legos for that. Yeah. I you know. don't have any more. You've got to have some more gifts on what there. What do I have? I've got every ah. Oh. A lot of bands this type of year put out. Christmas records. Christmas records. This yeah. is a Bad Religion Christmas album. Um, and, you know, like mainly what we want you guys to do is start hitting all your favorite bands. Just get on their website and look at right now. They're like running just killer deals for Christmas. Help the bands out. That's what you want to do. Yeah, they a got A lot of bands, you know, this is helps them out by buying their merch, get on their websites. A lot of bands out there that you listen to. Buy something from their web store. Yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll, some may have a Christmas album. Some may have a Christmas sweater, Christmas t shirt, uh, Christmas ornaments. This was a one time thing, so yeah. these, these sell for stupid amounts. Oh, I know it. Yeah, yeah, I remember when that came out, I was a little too big to fit comfortably in that sweater. Yeah. So I didn't get it. So, but now I regret it. Yeah. You think the dwarves will have them when they come up here New Year's Eve? No, because it's after Christmas. Ah, damn it. Yeah, it's, uh, it was a one time thing. Yeah. Oh, I've been offered a lot of money for this stupid thing. Not I'll give stupid, you I love it. But. $7 for it right now. Oh, no? I, gotta, I gotta wear it for the picture. No, that's true. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna take a picture. Right. So uh, I had two things. I'm gonna go back to back. Boom, boom. Right. I need something to organize my keys. I put my keys down in random spots throughout my counter. Most of the times I can find it, but when you can't find your keys, you're like, well, where are they? So have you seen the Marshall um, amp? Key holder that you hang on your wall. It looks like a Marshall amp, and then you just plug your keys into it like you're plugging into yeah, your guitar. Yeah. I think those are really cool. I'd like to get that. They're and nice wall hangers. Look yeah. like a nice Marshall head. Oh, yeah. That's and cool. then uh, I want to talk about the next book that I want to buy. Be good for all of you. Be good for you. It's a Corporate Rock Sucks. It's the rise and fall of SST records. Yeah. Really good. You know, Greg Ginn shopping around Black Flag. Nobody wanted to sign him. It's like, I'll just start my own label. Then he put a bunch of really cool bands on there, Sonic Youth and Screaming Trees, Screaming Trees, Soundgarden and um, Who Screwed Do and yeah. Minutemen. Uh, and then it all sort of fell apart. But it was uh, a great independent label. Right, so right. that would be a great read. Um, and yeah, and so this is all about the holidays and it's about giving and, and, and being with the ones you love. Yeah, you know, oh, you know this guy. <laughs> so. No, so this is kind of like what we do. Because like I say... All we know is music, really. And these are just some ideas, like I say, that are good prices for the music lover in your life. And, you know, you guys can probably, if you're in the Tacoma area, definitely hit up High Voltage Records. Mm -hmm. Um, They've got a bunch of one-stop shop right there. Yeah. Friendly staff. Before Um, we wrap this up, would you like another uh, uh, little little, little shooter? Of what? That. Well, you don't want to open that. No, not yet. That's for Christmas Eve, right? I think. Yeah. Dave Catching, you did phenomenal. Oh, man. Are we allowed to drink on... Yeah, we can do whatever yeah, we want. in my house. Let's roll up some doobies. You got any doobies? No, I don't do that. I thought we were the doobie brothers. No. No, we're not. <laughs> Kelsey, I know. Man. You want to you drink? No? All right. Yeah, she's got to stay... One of us has to stay professional in this okay. outfit. Well... But, I think that's it. So... Yeah. 
I hope it was helpful to you. Get into the holiday season. I love the holiday season. I do too. Yeah. And we just want to wish you guys all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and hopefully some of these I get. What about Kwanzaa? Did you say Hanukkah? Yom Kippur. Yeah, all those things. All that. Yeah. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. It's mostly about just being with the ones Everybody's, you love. Everybody's, love everybody. Love everybody. Right. Yeah. So that's it. All right. I'm Kaz. And I'm Shane. Thanks for watching the special edition of For the Record with Kaz and Say. We'll see you next time. Thank you.